Our discussion this week is the problem of scale and how it factors into the government's ability to effectively operate and meet the needs of its population. So there's a problem with the human scale, and it's negatively affecting the efficiency of the U.S. government. The video from this week discussed two main versions of government. The first was the Aristotelian tradition, which supported natural order on a very small scale. Aristotle believed that people would naturally support their neighbors and could collectively survive and regulate themselves peacefully without the need for a named government. The second theory is that of Hobbes, in which government is designed and created. Combating and essentially preventing anarchy was the main goal for Hobbesian tradition. And according to Hobbes, the more people ruled under the government, the better. Our founding fathers felt that the Hobbesian tradition best suited the needs of our new nation. Through much discussion, disagreement, and compromise, the free, three branches of government were established. The legislative branch, the executive branch, and the judicial branch. The main goal of these branches, in a nutshell, was to protect the rights or liberties of the American people and to provide checks and balances to themselves. According to the U.S. Census, when our country was founded, it is estimated to have had roughly 2.5 million people. Today, we have over 8 billion. 13 colonies in 1776 to 50 states plus territories in 2022. We have more than tested the Hobbesian theory, and it has failed. Our government no longer supports liberty like it should, and many, many people do not feel fully supported or recognized by the government or its legislation. Let me give you some numbers. 100 senators, 435 people in the House of Representatives, one president, one vice president, with 22 cabinet members who only give advice to the executive branch, and nine Supreme Court justices control over 8 billion people. That's 568 people with all the power. To break it down further, that's one government agent to roughly 14 million people. And those numbers are including the 22 cabinet members because they do have direct contact to the president and the vice president. But one to fourteen million? No wonder we can't have anything we can't get anything done. And more than half the country feels underrepresented. Because they are. Our government in 1776 had less people in total than we have one person representing in our current in our current government. One person cannot clearly stand, defend, or speak for the rights or liberties of 14 million people equally. Nine Supreme Court justices do not have the time to hear all their requested cases. In fact, the Supreme Court only hears roughly 2% of the cases that are requested each year. Our three branches of government no longer represent the entire population, nor do they all seem to have the same agenda anymore. Our founding fathers created our government to help protect our liberties, everyone's liberties, all eight plus billion of us. Yet, liberty no longer seems to be the main focus. How much money should people give the government in taxes is a big one today. Um, how people should live, keep their property, what they should put in their bodies. Our government protects us from outside threats, yes. I don't think that's ever been a question. But it could definitely be more supportive and effective in our liberties. Um, maybe an adjusted system is needed. Our government no longer has a central purpose that they follow. They need solid direction. They need to refocus on our liberties and a better skill to represent our growing population and our culture.